And there's that tanker. It's uh, just looking at it now. I can tell that it is empty. It's, it's sitting high on the water. It might moor out there, or it may come in. If it closes to distance, if it passes the buoy or the other boat in any way, then I'll know it's coming in. It, it looks like it is going to come in. pilot boat didn't return yet. Maybe there's another boat out there that I hadn't, didn't see yet. Fundy Rose. It's closer. At least I can see her bow now before I could only see her superstructure.
harbor life. The tide is uh, just on its way down, but it will be hours before before the peak of low tide. That was sandpipers. It was sandpipers that were squabbling. They got agitated at something, I don't know what. See fall color in the hills. Anywhere in the Northwest Territories, anywhere. Well, I won't say BC. BC definitely has it's a, a distinct type of wilderness compared to this. This could be anywhere in Newfoundland or Labrador. That fact, because Maine and New Brunswick have the same, the coastlines are much the same. Someone has a fire. Yeah, the smell of beech wood has a distinct odor, ten times different than if you were up in the green hills and had a fire. That beech wood has a, uh, some people refer to it as a bacony smell. It's, it's hard, to, hard to comprehend if you've never smelled beech wood fire. But there's definitely one burning. The smoke is on the wind.
tank are still moving very slow. Obviously the ferry is moving a lot faster than the tanker. I hope Papa Herschel and the crew had themselves a good day. And now I see the reason the two tugs went into Courtney Bay. The east coast is going out. The orange tanker must be waiting its turn. When this one's gone out, the orange one will come in. Might as well get the funny rose coming in. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, if that wind is uh Yes, a friend of mine was just telling me it's supposed to be 25 or 26 on Saturday. That is, wow, unseasonable.
I'm doing a video with the S32 as well. I'm talking to the B500. I know, I know, I know it's recording me. It's quite a busy little spot at the moment. this front, we have one tanker going out to the east coast, plus we have the, uh, there's an orange tanker way out there that, that this east coast is blocking the view of now. And I see a half moon up there. Oh yeah. I'm definitely going <clears> to <throat> try to get some moon footage with the, with the bigger camera. And there's a lady too coming out. And at the moment, I'm on the outside. The wind is uh, quite brisk. And right here, at this very spot, is a, is a, uh, is a quiet area. The wind isn't sweeping through here. I think he was, uh, there's other people on shore, the, the chap on the, uh, the chap on the lady too was yelling to someone on shore. in the shade here. Quite cool, even though there's no wind right here. Well, very little wind. Step right here.
And right here on the front side by the front rock wall. It's a quiet spot. Step around to those plants over there and you'll be <laughs> right in the wind. And that orange tanker turned its bow. That's enough of this video. I'm gonna try for I'm gonna try for a daytime moon shot. And there is a daytime moon. It's a half moon. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Okay, fools. I'll have to do a new video.